Okay, welcome back to my channel. This is Jacob here and today we're shooting in a nice location here in my city and and in this video we're going to talk about how you can be in a social mood when you're feeling down if you're feeling drained if you don't have the energy to put yourself out there and meet new people this is a topic i got from a client who has been crushing it lately he have a lot of great opportunities have met a lot of cool people and he have social activities all the time and he asked me how can i be social if I'm not feeling like it, how can I be in that social mood where I want to meet people? And over the last four weeks, he have made six new friends and he have activities all the time. So I told him, first of all, it's not a problem. It's not a problem that having a lot of opportunities and a lot of activities to go to. Now you can be picky and kind of decide which of those events you want to go to. You can prioritize your time who do you want to spend time with and what activities do you want to go to so that's not really a problem so in this video we're going to also talk about how you can come in this social mood if you don't have these opportunities already because sometimes it's keeping us from taking action in the first place to get out of the house and meet up with new people because we simply don't feel in a social mood to begin with and if that is you then this video is for you so the first thing i want to mention here is it's okay to don't feel social it's okay to don't feel in a social mood right away because sometimes you know we can just have a busy work schedule or something bad happened to us or whatnot it's totally fine to don't feel social all the time but oftentimes if we keep ourselves at home and don't meet people because we don't feel like it to begin with then nothing will change and we don't create these opportunities for ourselves sometimes you need to just get in the social mood to get there because oftentimes the first step starts with you getting out of the house and meeting people and oftentimes when we don't feel in a social mood but force ourselves to go out anyways then we'll have a fun time either way and then we will look back and think Oh, that was great that I went out, despite of me not feeling very social at the moment. So that's the first thing. You sometimes need to distance yourself from your emotions and don't see this as a thing where you need to be in state or whatever. You need to be in a social mood to be social because that mood comes when you're out with people. Especially in a time like this with the pandemic and everything is online and less social interaction it's important that you keep pushing and going out and meeting people otherwise you will just build negative habits of of you not talking to people never be around people and that distance just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger that's not the position you want to be in so the next point is if you have a lot of opportunities just like with my client it's not a problem if you have a lot of opportunities because then you can prioritize which events you want to go to. Don't see it as a problem, just see it as now you have a lot of opportunities and you can choose which opportunities you want to go to. Okay, before going to the next point, sorry for the background noise, I hope it's all right. If you haven't done already, I highly recommend you go follow me on Instagram because on there I'll give you tips and ideas as well, multiple times a week, how you can be social, how you can create a social circle, becoming confident in social environments and don't see social pressure as a bad thing. These are things you can learn. It's just a matter of habits and building the right foundation to become social. So go send me a DM if you have any questions, I'll reply to all the DMs. And if you have a YouTube topic, you can also suggest it to me. I might shoot a video about that if I find it relevant. The next thing is something you can do if you don't feel social but you want to be social and you have maybe an event you want to go to but you don't feel like it. Then it's simply a matter of getting in a social mood and there's a lot of ways you can do that but if you're sitting in front of the computer all day and not being social at all then you need to break free from that pattern and do things that will get you in a social mood. For example, listen to your favorite music, going for a walk, doing sports because when you go out of your apartment, then you also experience new things. You don't sit at home and distance yourself from other people. No, you're actually going out and doing stuff. And that's so important. Then you will also feel social 
these small tweaks like this that will help. And if you're on top of that, you can small talk with people. Maybe if you're going to a coffee shop or a place like this. Chat up people who's working there or people who are sitting there to start conversations. Because sometimes our state of not being social is just because we haven't been talking to people at all that day or in the past week. And that's really bad. You need to break free from that and starting small talking and starting conversations with people to get you in the social mood. And there's a lot of opportunities where you can do that. You can go out to a place like this, sit in a coffee shop, small talking with people at the gym, chat up the old lady who's walking with the dog. There are so many things you can do to get in that social mood. And at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to become in a social mood. It's not other people's responsibility, it's your responsibility. And you know, it's all about habits. If you train yourself to become social, then you'll also see more opportunities. You will enjoy being more social, you'll enjoy going to different type of environments, you'll learn how to get from not a social mood to a social mood. So at the end of the day, this is habits you need to build on and work on. If you're not in a social mood, that's also a habit. That's a negative habit of you not doing anything, of you not talking to people, of you just sitting at home, watching Netflix or whatever you're spending your time with. You need human interaction to develop these things. So the biggest important thing you can take from this video is sometimes you just need to force yourself out there even though you don't feel like it. And you can totally be honest with people you meet be like, oh yeah, I didn't feel it, I, I'm too much in my head, I'm stressed at work. Or just tell people what's on your mind because people can relate to that. And it will give them something to resonate with because we all find ourselves in, in a not social mood at a time. So it depends on where you come from. If you don't have these opportunities, then you need to force it. Because in the beginning, you need to force it to create these opportunities. If you have a lot of opportunities, then you don't need to force it. Then you can just pick from the opportunities you have and prioritize what type of events you want to go to. So if you found this valuable, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This will help my channel out a big deal and then you will know when there's new videos for you. If you try for a long time and don't know how to get yourself in front of new people, you feel it's overwhelming and you don't know how to meet like-minded people, then you can book a free consultation call with me in three simple steps. Step number one is you click the link in the description. That will bring you to a page. Step number two is you watch the free training video. And step number three is you click the application form and book a free consultation call. On the call, we're going to talk more about your current situation and how we can develop a strategy for you in your situation, how you can meet people, how you can make friends you feel connected to and friends you could share your life with. So maybe talk very soon and see you in the next video.